October is a relationship defining month that's designed to open your heart so you can receive more joy and love and balance. Hello, I'm Carrie Samuels, your intuitive counselor and happiness coach with your October forecast. And we can't really talk about October without talking about what happened in September because we are still in that eclipse portal. We are in eclipse season, which started September 17th. Eclipses are always two weeks apart. And the time between the full moon and new moon eclipse is dramatic. Eclipses bring things to the surface that were buried deep that need to be healed and transformed. And sometimes this eclipse season, because it is so dramatic and intense, can bring actual storms as well as cosmic storms. And that said, anyone here in the United States or anywhere else in the world that has experienced these terrible, devastating storms, as have been people in my own family, I wish you well and I send you so much love in repairing. And we all have some repairing to do now because eclipses do bring up so much that comes to the surface. Now you may have experienced this eclipse season as just busy because you've been busy doing the things that maybe you were previously afraid to do and these fears are coming to the surface so that you can move through them. And maybe dramatic things happen for you that weren't as pleasant because eclipses are designed to bring light to what was previously eclipsed. And they work with their karmic nodes of the moon, the north and south nodes of the moon, the nodes of fate and destiny. Full moon eclipses tend to bring completion and things to an end. And that was what we had September 17th. And we have a new moon solar eclipse on October 2nd. New moons are always about new beginnings. New moon solar eclipses can bring fateful new beginnings. Sometimes you meet someone very important in your life during a solar eclipse, or you forge a relationship that will change the trajectory of your life, or you do something different. Maybe you make a move or a career change or any kind of dramatic shift in your life that will change the course of your destiny. So October 2nd eclipse, the solar eclipse is in Libra, the sign of relationships. And that's because our sun is in Libra right now. And Libra is all about your relationship with others, your relationship with your external environment. Libra is an unusual sign in the sense that it's the only sign in the zodiac whose symbol is an inanimate object. It's the scales. And there's this kind of misconception about Libra that because they're about balance, that they're always balanced. <laughs> well, actually, Libra's job is to find balance, to create harmony, to create this sense of um, even balance and harmonious relationship. And so Libra's very sensitive. Now this applies to whether you are a Libra or not because we're in Libra season. So we're all focused on this sense of balancing our needs with other people's needs and bringing your relationships into harmony. So this eclipse is really going to bring up everything related to that. And this eclipse is extraordinary all eclipses are extraordinary because they're larger than life. I mean, back in ancient times, people thought the world was ending <laughs> during an eclipse because the sun is shining and then all of a sudden it isn't when it should be. And it's kind of like when you restart a computer and sometimes that really puts things in balance again and sometimes things are like not always starting the way you thought they were going to. So. There's a sense of drama when these eclipses happen. So October 2nd eclipse, in addition to being a solar eclipse, 
connected with our south node of the moon, which is about the things that you're meant to let go of. So even though it's a time of fresh starts, it's associated with everything in your life related to relationships that needs to be let go of. And this eclipse has a grand water trine. Doesn't that sound magical? Because it is. Mars and Venus, the lovers of the zodiac, are involved in this grand water trine and Saturn. So they're in this harmonious relationship in all the water signs. And so there's this sense of flow and heart opening and soul stirring to get you connected or reconnected with your relationships in a way that is meaningful to your heart and soul, in a way that you feel a sense of emotional flow and love and connection. Mars and Venus, the masculine and feminine aspects of your psyche, in this water trine with Saturn, which is associated with boundaries, will help you create the boundaries so that you can have more harmonious relationships. And when I say it helps you, it means it's encouraging you to because you have free will and that's all up to you. So life is designed right now to help you get more in touch with what you're really feeling. Even with relationships, we think we like or love someone or something, but really how much are you feeling everything? So this is designed to help you feel what's inside of you so that you can make choices that benefit you. Because you have no time in your life for lukewarm feelings. And Saturn is the Lord of time. And so it's time for you to examine your relationship with time and energy and effort as you relate to the world and other people and everything in your life. More importantly, how are you feeling as you relate to everything? And so eclipses help you bring to light what you're actually feeling because sometimes we think we're feeling something when our feelings are really happening beneath the surface. So pay attention to what's coming up. Pay attention to the lessons that life is teaching you now. Pay attention to your feelings and make time for them, okay? And really this is a time of letting go as well because October 2024 in numerology is a nine universal month. And I just wanna tell you how we do the calculations for that because every month when I do the numerology someone writes in or several people write in and say I thought this was a one month since October's the 10th month of the year let me tell you the math on this okay the calculations October is the 10th month so that's one plus zero the universal year 2024 is an eight two plus zero plus two plus four is eight so you add the one from October to the eight of the year the universal year and that's where we get October 2024 is a nine universal month. What's always special about October of every year, other than that it's Libra season, and I love Libras. So what's special about October every year is it gives you a glimpse into the future because we are adding one to the universal year. So it shows you what next year's energy is going to be like because 2025 is going to be a nine universal year. Nine is all about listening to your intuition, regardless of what other people are telling you, and letting go of what's no longer serving you. Because nine is the last of the single digits. And after the nine, we start our whole other 10 year cycle. So we go one through nine, and then we go back to one again. So nine is about wrapping things up. And it's interesting because nine is associated with like the energy of autumn, because in addition to letting go, like when the leaves are falling off the trees, as is happening here in the Northern hemisphere, it's also a time of culmination and celebration and harvest and bounty. 
that's often overlooked with the nine because it is in that letting go time there can be a sense of grief because letting go is hard sometimes you have to let go to someone or something that you don't want to the end of a chapter can be bittersweet or just sad sometimes so there's a sense of letting go and yet there's all this bounty and glory and celebration look at the abundance of the earth as the leaves are falling off the tree right so you have a sense of culmination and celebration so it's really important that during this time you are celebrating yourself and your life even as you're letting go of people circumstances whatever is happening you have so much to be proud of and you have so much to celebrate so make sure you take that time to celebrate yourself and your life also on october 17th we have the fourth consecutive full supermoon in a row and that is in aries that's a lot of supermoons in a row <laughs> so these supermoons amplify everything in a sense that it brings light to what's dark right it's like lighting up the sky in this really majestic way so even in this time when there can be darkness and letting go and sometimes grief you have this illumination you have spirit and your heart lighting you from the inside and you are also a light in the world so allow yourself to feel whatever you need to feel and let yourself really be in the moment without judgment about what you're experiencing that super moon on october 17th is very connected to chiron the wounded healer and the wounded healer teaches us that our greatest wounds when we overcome them become our greatest strengths and therefore our greatest gift to the world after we move through it and that's really what's happening now and the last quarter of the year always goes very quickly like autumn all of a sudden the leaves are turning colors and then all of a sudden they're gone right like there's a quickening that happens and so the last quarter of the year is bringing this quickening but this is all preparing you for an extraordinary 2025 which will be like no other i know you've been hearing that for every year you're like this year is like the most wild well actually <laughs> everything's been preparing you and us for 2025 an unprecedented amount of outer planets all in new signs and right now we have the outer planets all retrograde plus chiron retrograde jupiter goes retrograde this month and jupiter's retrograde in gemini jupiter is the most expansive large abundant planet and when that's retrograde your abundance is an inside job you're reevaluating what abundance means to you on the inside and in the sign of gemini the twins it will help you see things from a new perspective and also help you see your relationships maybe from other people's perspective or see things in a different light or there's a lot going on while jupiter is in its retrograde motion for four months so it's in a well it's all like an intense time but it's a time of reflection and growth inner growth that will create a lot of outer growth and again next year is going to be unprecedented so this soul searching time this illuminating time when things are coming up and you're recognizing patterns that need to be changed just know that you're in a transition as we all are and it can be exciting and illuminating so that said i always like to give you three action steps for the month that you can focus on and do that will help you navigate this energy so your first action step is to feel your feelings because that will guide you toward your next steps 
We tend to think about our feelings. If I asked you how you are, you would tell me all the things that are going on in your life. Would you actually tell me what you're feeling? Are you actually experiencing it? So that's what this is designed to do. This month's energy is to help you experience your emotions and process your emotions. So don't judge them. Don't try to stuff them down. Don't think they're wrong. Allow yourself to experience the full range of human emotions. That could be all the things, including joy and appreciation for who you are and everything you've done. Which brings us to action step number two, which is open your heart to receive. Are you allowing yourself to receive all the love and joy and goodness that you deserve. This can be an actual physical energetic thing because your heart chakra opens up in the front and the back. Imagine that you are opening up the back of your heart and receiving love, receiving appreciation, receiving compliments, receiving joy and blessings. This will help you bring more balance in your life. So really two, Focus on whether you're giving more than you're receiving and allowing yourself to receive. Let people compliment you. Let me begin by letting you know that you are a beautiful, special being and you are very loved. Are you allowing yourself to drink that in? Are you allowing yourself to let people appreciate you? Open your heart to receive that. I actually have something that can help you with that. I have a free open your heart to love meditation. I will leave that in the description below and you can access that for free. And your third action step is to follow your bliss. Your heart will always lead the way. And this is a time when you're really learning how you feel about your relationship to other people and circumstances. And if someone or something doesn't light a spark within you anymore, where you're feeling drained, and remember, this is a time to really get more balance into your life. So if you're drained by someone or something, maybe it's time to allow Saturn to help you bring more boundaries into your life and to really protect your time and your energy. But if you love someone or something, dedicate more time to that, more time to your joys, more time to your creativity, more time to what really lights you up on inside. And when you do that, you will always find your way. So I hope I've inspired you to listen to your heart, to really be truthful to yourself because that is what this eclipse season and this month is about. And even though the eclipse season finishes on October 2nd, we have all this aftermath of the eclipse that this month is about. And there's so much here that's going to help you solidify and fortify your relationships and allow yourself to be more loved and loving. And I love you so much. And if you've enjoyed this, make sure to give it a thumbs up and rate and subscribe and leave a comment and let me know how you're doing. I love you so much and I wish you an awesome October and beyond. Lots of love. Bye for now.